All right, I'm live now. Assalamu alaikum, everybody. Um, I would like to thank you all for uh, joining the MCOC Welcoming Ramadan series. And I would like to give you a brief introduction about myself. And then I'm going to show you our home. So let's start with myself first. So my name is Ines. And long, long time ago, like centuries ago, I used to work as an environmental engineer in Egypt. Uh, but then, you know, caring for the environment is like a big issue back then. But then when I came to the US and I had kids of my own, and of course, kids in our community, I decided that I should invest my time in building the Muslim character. I would really like to take the time and make learning more fun for my kids, my own kids and kids in our community. I'd like to read a lot of stories that teach the moral character and you know, build more values in our children. We need more confident Muslims and we need more kindness in this world and more peace. So in the past three years, I've been working uh, at Precious Hearts in MAPS uh, between preschool and pre-K. I've been teaching Arabic and Quran, some Islamic studies and crafts. Uh, we once made us a very, very successful session about prophet stories. Uh, it was on Friday nights, and I wish we can go back to in person again and do it again. Um, lately, like two years now, I have also joined Mom and Tot, and currently this year I am teaching Mom and Tot uh, remotely. It's only on Wednesdays. Uh, so yeah, I guess that's pretty much all about me. Now it's time to know more about you, but I cannot hear you. So yeah, well, let me show you our home then. It's right here between my hands. So our home is built on Islam and so is each and every Muslim home. You know, these are the five pillars of Islam here that also constitute the five pillars in our home. So the basis here is Shahada. A Shahada to Allah ilaha illallah wa anna Muhammadan Rasulullah, iqami salah, ita'i zakah, hajjul bayti wa sawmu Ramadan, which is the focus uh, of our attention these days as we are preparing for Ramadan, inshallah. So now in this home, there live three characters that I would like to introduce to you. These characters are called Mumtaz and his mom and his grandpa. Now, Mumtaz is actually going to tell us a story about himself a long time ago when he was too young to fast. So let's listen to this. It's a quick story before we do our craft. Okay, I have to wear Mumtaz in my hand so he can talk. So this is a too young to fast. Bismillah. Oh, it was the month of Ramadan. Mama, I want to fast like you, Mumtaz said. Oh, but what did mom say? I have to wear mom, so you know what does she say? Oh, sweetie, you are too young to fast. Oh, what do you think Mumtaz is feeling now? He must be sad. You can do other things. Like what, Mumtaz asked. Let's see. You can do good deeds. Tomorrow you can help grandpa. Oh, what do you think Montez feels now? You think he's happy now that he can help grandpa? Let's see, I have to wear Montez and see what he said. The next morning, I woke up early. I brought grandpa his morning meal. It is called suhoor. Cool. <coughs> Excuse me. I am going to do good deeds for Ramadan. I will help you all day. Do you think his grandpa is happy that he can help him? Let's see what did he say. That will be nice. Grandpa said. Let's see what did Montez do next. I 
help him get dressed. Good job, Montez. That's nice. I walked with him in the park. I brought him his glasses when he read the Quran. We had a great day. I love you, Grandpa. Oh, that's so sweet. Oh, where's Grandpa? I'm sure Grandpa said, I love you too, Montez. <gasps> He's here. <gasps> I love you too, Montez. Let's see. Tomorrow, I will do more good deeds. I learned that Ramadan is about more than fasting. It is about love and kindness and doing lots and lots of good deeds. Oh, how sweet, Montez. Thank you so much for this very nice story. So Ramadan is not just fasting. It's also doing more good deeds, doing extra kindness things. Oh, you know, this is also some form of charity to do good deeds. Oh, thank you. All right, now, let's, 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 let's work on our good deed craft. So this is a greeting card for Ramadan, and it's one act of kindness that we are doing. This is also a good deed. Let me show you the card first. So here's the front. Here is the back, and I'm going to explain this in a minute, what the envelope is for. And then guess what's in the middle? It's a pop-up card. <gasps> cool. And there's more stuff to put in the middle, too. This is just, you know, like an example. And I'm going to show you all the details now. All right. So let's get started. I just want to explain what this envelope is for. You know, a lot of people choose to pay their zakah, which is one of the pillars of Islam, if you remember our home again. So a lot of people do the zakah in Ramadan. But these are grown-ups. These are adults. We are kids. We are not going to pay zakah, but we can pay sadaqah. We can pay charity, right? So maybe instead of zakah here, I can write sadaqah. I can write act of kindness. These are all forms of charity too. So now let's get started and work on our crafts. Let me just get, all right. So here I have a few paper. I'm going to use yellow as my base color for the crafts. Let me hold this down. But before I start, actually I have to wear my glasses. Okay, so I can see well, let's see, because we are celebrating Ramadan, so. I need to unleash our super duper creative powers. All right, there we go. Where's my ears? Can I find my ears? Found one. Oh, where's my ear? Okay, I guess we're fine now. All right, I'm gonna use the yellow as my base color and I'm gonna just tilt this down a little bit so you can see better. I'm going to fold it in half like this. So this is my card and then Super drawers, now we're gonna draw. I need a marker to draw with. I'm gonna use this marker. And I'm gonna draw, I'll show you. So I want to draw this masjid with a dome here and the hilal also, right? So I wanna make sure I draw the rectangle that's the same height as my card and then do this as like an extra popping up on top like that, so. I'm going to just put this here for you to see. So I'm going to start from here and draw a line down there. Bismillah. Another line here. So it's like a rectangle. And then I'm going to do the dome. I'm going to make the dome right here. So I just put a dot in the middle and just draw something like that. And then I'm going to draw the Hilal or the moon, the Ramadan moon here on top. Awesome. Now, are we ready to cut this? Let's cut around it.
Now, while I am cutting this, I want you to think about the feelings of the people who will receive these cards, how delighted they will be. And I'll talk about it in a minute too, because we're gonna give this to so many people. I'll tell you, we make a lot, lots of cards. So now here is how it should look like, inshallah. So I'm gonna glue it in the middle. Only glue the rectangle part because this dome is gonna pop up, right? So just gonna put glue on the rectangle part here. Let's put it in the middle. Cool. Now let's make a door. Let's make a door for our masjid. Oh, I miss our masjid so much. Who misses our masjid? Maps and Sammamish mosque and any other local masjid. I just love all the masjids and miss them so much. I wish they can open to in person again, inshallah soon. Now for the door, and for this banner, I'm going to use another color. So if you have like, you know, a different color, you can use any actually craft paper. If you don't have a cardstock, just use any craft paper. That's fine. The cardstock just makes it more sturdy, but, but that's fine. Craft paper will do as well. So I'm going to use green here for the door and I'm going to draw a door. Let's start here. So let's just make something like this and cut around it. I'm going to glue it here in the middle. Right here. There we are. And then I love these jewels. It's okay, I actually get them from dollar store. But if you don't have them, that's completely fine. You can just use any stickers and you know, this is to, you know, very up to your imagination and your creativity. You could use stickers, you can use a marker if you wanna just, you know, color around it, do any, anything of your choice. So I'm just gonna, you know, this is nice because uh, I can take like the whole line like this and it's sticky in the end, so I can just, Put around my door here to make it look beautiful and shiny. I need another line around the door. And I'll take away the extras. You know, with the extra, I can just take one and make a door knob for our masjid so we can open the door. Allahumma iftah lana abwaaba rahmatika when we go to the masjid. Allahumma iftah lana abwaaba rahmatika. Okay, now I'm going to use another line here and put it here just like that, just like this one, above the banner that we are going to make. Let's take the excess. Now let's make a banner that's also green so it matches with the door. So this is going to be some triangles. Let's just draw some triangles. I'm going to make sure it's the same length here. So I'm just going to draw a banner like this. So I just drew some triangles. Now, when I cut around them, I want to make sure I don't cut all the way to the top or otherwise it's going to be some small single triangles. I don't want that. I want it to look like a banner. So I'm going to cut carefully and leave like a, a small bit in the in the in the in the top like this there we go so it looks like that and then i'm gonna glue it here so it looks super nice All right, here we go. Does it look beautiful? I hope it does. Now, if you have some stars or any other stickers, it's just, it's your choice. Use your creativity, 
you can put around some stars here anything else any glitter anything you like just to make it more beautiful or you can write something maybe you don't have to glue stickers i'll just glue some stickers here no oh. okay maybe some here some there anywhere Okay, cool. Now let's do, oh, okay, so let's do, let's do, let's do, let's do the back first because I was thinking, should we do the back first or the middle first? Because there's like a story behind everything. So, okay, let's start with the back first. So if you have an envelope, any envelope, I'm just gonna use this one. I'll just glue it here and then I'll tell you what is this about. All right, all right. So for this envelope, I'm gonna tell you a story. Actually, I was waiting for my friend, Funky Monkey. I can hear his little He's coming in an air balloon. And, oh, salam, mon monkey. What do you have to, what do you have to share here? Oh, okay, monkey, you have some hadith by the Prophet Sallallahu here. So I see monkey here has something to show us. Let's see what do you have, monkey. Oh, we've got some really cool stuff here. Well, he has got something really cool that says, be sincere, innama al-a'malu binniyat, which means actions are judged by intentions. Oh, monkey, are you trying to tell us that before we enter the month of Ramadan, we have to clarify our intention, make sure our intention is totally for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Yes, indeed. Oh, ooh, ooh, ah, ah. definitely. Oh, monkey just reminded me. This is very important. Actually, every day we should make sure we tell ourselves that everything we do in this life is totally for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, for, for Allah to forgive us and to accept from us and to bestow his blessings and mercies upon us. So thank you so much, monkey, for reminding us. Be sincere in our intentions and in our doings. Nice. And then you have other stuff here. Be nice. Behave well towards people. Oh, leave off things with no benefit. It means part of the perfection of one's Islam is his leaving that which does not concern him. Oh, it's like, mind your own business, monkey. You want to tell me mind your own business? Okay, monkey, thank you, thank you. Al-kalima tayyiba sadaqa, saying good words. It's also charity to utter a good word. Oh, nice, monkey, thank you. Well, that's enough, monkey, that's too much. Monkey, are you teaching me a lesson? Oh, that's too much, really, mashallah. Okay, thank you, monkey. You have a bunch of hadith here too. Okay, just leave them here, monkey. Jazakallah khairan, you can go now. Thank you, monkey. Hmm. Too much good deed stuff, okay. All right. You know, I wasn't too nice with monkey, was I? I think I was too harsh on him. Is this a bad deed? Maybe I should, should have been nicer. Well, I, I, I can see some hadith he left here that I can take a look at. Oh, this is a good one actually. Follow a bad deed with a good deed. So, وَأَتْبِعَ Okay, so if I follow up a bad deed with a good deed, this will wipe out the bad deed. That's nice. So my left angel, he's going to erase the bad deed and the right angel is going to give me a reward. Oh, that's a relief because I just I just did a mistake with monkey. You know, I guess we do mistakes every day. I hope Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will forgive us. Just forgive me, Allah. Astaghfirullah. Okay, so what good deed can I do now to erase the bad deed? I guess just continue working on my greeting card. I guess making a greeting card and giving it to people is a good deed. I guess this will make people smile or feel important or feel appreciated. You know what, especially, especially non-Muslims too. So maybe I can educate them about Ramadan if I give them something like that. Maybe I can oh, tell them something about Ramadan too. 
or I can give it to my Muslim friends and I can attach one of these ahadith in the card so my Muslim friends can read it and then they can learn a hadith by the Prophet وسلم, which is a good deed for sure. What else I can do? What else? Maybe I can put some money in the envelope here. Yeah, you know what? I'll tell you something. How about we do, we do some house chores at home for mom and dad and then we ask them for some money so they can give us some money and then we take all the money that we earn and put it here in the envelope and do this every day. So we take Hassanet every day. And then every week we can go to our local masjid and just take out the money, put it in the box of the sadaqa in the masjid because you know, mashallah, they do a lot of pro programs in the masjid to help people in need. And they also need funds for the masjid too. So this is definitely a very, very good act of charity that we could do. Well, there are so many ideas here that we can do with this card. So if I'm gonna use it for sadaqa, I can just, write sadaqa here. So sadaqa is for me, me to put sadaqa in there. So I'll write sadaqa for myself, sadaqa, which means charity, charity. You know, because I'm a kid, I'm not gonna pay zakah, right? I'll leave this for the adults. But for me, I can pay charity. So I'll just write sadaqa here and I'll put this card in my home and every day I'll put anything, any coins, any dollars, anything that I could put here. And I'm sure I'll be rewarded abundantly by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by doing this. So this is something I could do. Another thing I can, if I'm going to give it to them, I can make plenty of these cards. We can make so many. So some of them will be in our home to put sadaqa in there. Some of them I'm going to give to my Muslim friends and maybe some members of my family too. I'm going to I'm gonna help them remember some ahadith by the Prophet sallallahu So... One of the things is getting rid of harm. This is a form of charity. Or the strong one is not the one with muscles. The strong one is the one who controls himself when angry. Awesome. I can just put these here in the envelope. And when I give it to my friends, they're going to read it. And then I'm going to take Hassanat. Yoohoo. That's awesome. Okay. So now that we have worked on the front and the back, of our greeting card. Let's do the middle one. And I hope you like the pop-up card idea. If you like this pop-up thing, I will teach you now how to make it. I know you know more than I do, mashallah. So I'm just, you know, I'm learning too. So let's see. Okay, I'll just have a pencil here to draw with. Let's use our super duper drawing powers and draw just any, any masjid you like to write. This is a very simple one. So let's do it together. So I will just bring a regular paper, just not, not cardstock. You know why? Because a cardstock is, is going to be too heavy in the middle. So when you fold, it is going to be like, see, it opens up like it's hard. But regular paper will probably make it lighter. So it will fold up easy, easy, more easy. All right. So just any, any, any white paper or any color, maybe a craft paper will do. It's light enough, a craft paper too. So let's draw this together. I'm gonna tilt this down so you can see. So I, I fold it in half because in the middle, I wanna start with the dome of the masjid or let's start with the rectangle first and then the dome. So I'm gonna make a rectangle here. It doesn't have to be really perfect, you know, any, anything would do. It's gonna be pretty in the end, inshallah. So I just drew this, the middle part, a rectangle with a dome. And then I'm gonna make two more rectangles from here and there. So rectangle here, another rectangle here, like a smaller one. Looks like stairs. Let me show you. All right, and then in the middle here, you know, just some decorative things for our masjid, like maybe a door or something like this. This is in the middle. Now here, I'll show you. Just put it like that so you can see while I draw this. Here is the other side. Oh. Uh, it's okay. Awesome. 
Now that I'm done with the super duper drawing, I'm gonna just cut around it. Let's cut around it here. Just around, it doesn't have to be exact, but just around it will do. There we go, something like that. And I want this to be folded like this. So I'm gonna make sure it folds well. Now for these two rectangles here, we are gonna fold them as well. See, this is folded inside and these will be folded on the outer side like that. Okay. Because I'm gonna glue only these two parts, only these two rectangular parts to make it a pop-up. I will show you right now. So this is how it's gonna fold. And then what I'm gonna do is I'll get my, my greeting card that I'm working on like this, okay, in the middle. And with this flat, let's put it here down, down there. Okay, so I'm gonna glue only these two rectangular parts that I have folded here, okay? These two rectangulars only. So I'll put glue here. Only here and there, not anywhere because I want to make sure it pops up. So glue, 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 glue these two rectangles. Now look at this. Oh. Oh. So you want to make sure this fold in the in the middle is like out to the outside, to the outside like this. Okay. So when you fold your card, you just fold it like that and make sure. I guess I put it too below. Let me just put it a little higher. All right. There we go. This is up and close. Close it. All right. Now look at this. When you open it, it's like a pop up masjid. All right. Awesome. So now, if I just want to make just, you know, a regular greeting card with like Eid Mubarak thing, uh, you can just write inside you can write a uh, sorry not Eid Mubarak Ramadan Mubarak and sign your name and I wish you lots of blessings and good good things during this Ramadan you can write whatever you want or something else you could do which is I can send out your way like on the internet I found stuff like that which is really cute like this little bird wants to say Ramadan Mubarak so I just printed it out and I can just you know put it in here I can just glue it here as well. So when you open it, you can read it and I can still write something and sign my name as well. So this is an idea. If you like it, I can send it over like your way so you can just print it out. Um, another idea is if I'm sending this green card to my non-Muslim neighbors and they love it, by the way, they love this idea, by the way. So if I'm going to do this, I can attach something that it can educate them a little about Ramadan so that they know, you know, what Ramadan is all about. Like everybody knows there is Ramadan, but maybe they don't know much about it. So um, I'm going to read you this. I'm going to let monkey, 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 you're going to help us read it. I want to do a good deed to you, monkey. I don't want you to be sad. So I will let you read this for us, monkey. Okay. Okay. Monkey is going to read this to us to educate us a little more about Ramadan. Let's see. We saw the moon, so Ramadan starts today. Muslims all around the world now fast all day. For one month, we will not eat or drink from sun up to sunrise uh, to sunset. This teaches us patience to be thankful for God's blessings and to be our best. This is a very special month for our family and we would like to share our excitement with you. Happy Ramadan and may peace be with you. Oh, oh, ah, ah. 
Oh, Jazakallah Khair Monkey, that's very sweet. It's a very nice note. So we can glue it or attach it to our greeting card in the inside like this for our neighbor to read it, or we can just put it out there in the envelope. So this is also a good use for the envelope too. And it fits perfectly inside. And you know what, last year actually, we made something similar um, at Eid time, like a greeting card also talking briefly about what Eid is all about. And we made like, you know, some goodie bags like that, like Eid Mubarak and put some goodies in there and we gave to our neighbors and oh, wow, they were over the moon. They were like, oh, this is the first time we ever receive a gift like that saying, thank you so much. And please keep doing this because you, you make us learn more about you, about what you celebrate, what your religious celebrations are. Thank you for doing this. You know, they feel appreciated. They feel like, like, you know, like we communicate with each other and we know each other more. You, you see how they do like a lot of Christmas stuff and whatsoever. So, so nice. And they share with us too. And so we can share with them too. It's very, very nice to be inclusive. And for our Muslim friends as well. So this is a act of kindness, some good deed that we could do, inshallah, in preparation for Ramadan. Well, I guess that's all about it for today. Inshallah, that's exactly half an hour as I anticipated, alhamdulillah, so it's not too long for you guys. I hope you liked the craft. I hope you liked Mumtaz. Um, so just before we go, before we go, oh, I want to tell you a joke before we go. Yes, I want to tell you a joke. So there's this lamb. All right, it's not very funny. Okay, it's cute, but not funny. So this is the lamb here, it's gonna say. So where does the lamb go to pray in Ramadan? I don't know, to the farm, maybe? No, no, meh, to the masjid. Oh, okay, it's the masjid. Zidane, that's my son Zidane, he is, how, how old are you? Five. Five years old, that's cute. Okay, let me tell you another joke. What did the bear say when he was fasting? He said, I can't bear to eat anymore. Yay. Not so funny, is it? Is it? So, dare. I didn't make them up, so I don't, I, I'm not, yeah, it's okay. So, oh, before we go, I just wanted to uh, tell you about uh, a YouTube channel that I have created about a year ago. I never actually really advertised about it. I uh, used to read stories for kids about it, um, like the, these moral values things and stuff. And it's called Filtasia Fun that I can show you. Um, not sure if it appears well. I can send it your way. I want you to please take a quick look at it. See if you like the content, I then can do more. I can invest more time because I have been stopping for a long time. I haven't uploaded any videos for a long time. Um, I read prophet stories and stuff and maybe I can do more craft things up there as well. If you, if you like it, if you're interested, this will give me a boost to do that. And I, I get no benefits from doing that because it's totally free. It, it doesn't have any ads, nothing. So it's just totally free for me and for you. Uh, but it's only like for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is our intention to benefit our Muslim community. So let me know. And thank you very much for joining us and for joining the NCOC welcoming Ramadan series. And the last thing I want to say is a note here that please join us for a taste of Ramadan with Samreen Khadir from my eggless pantry at 2 p.m. tomorrow, inshallah, Sunday the 7th. Jazakumullah khairan. Oh, let me take off my glasses. I'm done. <laughs> Jazakumullah khairan, Inas. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much, Amani. Jazakumullah. <laughs> this is to all our viewers. Um, this recorded session is on our Facebook page. The link is www.facebook.com slash MCOC program. Sister Inas can be viewed on that link. Jazakallah khair and everybody. Thank you for showing up. Salam alaikum. Wa alaikum salam.